Hello and welcome back to Rain City Ranch. In today's video I have a 2016 Ford F-150. The driver's seat does not heat or cool. The passenger seat works. So we're going to diagnose that and fix that in this video. And this one did have a B272C. We'll go into our master DTC list. And it'll be the um, SCME, the uh, driver's seat module. It's what we want to look at. And we want to go down to a B272. Two seventy two C is driver differential temperature fault. Okay, we're going to want to look at uh, driver and passenger as a comparison on the back temperature, cushion temperature for driver and passenger. Where is it at? Passenger temp, cushion, and back. And what we want to, we can command them on through here, so we're going to do the heat command for driver and passenger. And let's look at the state on these two. That's the uh, control seat state for driver and passenger. First of all, they want you to make sure these the TEDs, the thermal electric devices, they've got an internal temperature sensor. All four of them should be about ambient temperature if you have not operated it. And we've got the back temp for driver, 71.6, and the cushion, 73.4, really close. Uh, as far as the passenger, the cushion is 75.2 or excuse me the back is 75.2 and the cushion is 71.6 and so far the state we're in oh this one the drivers in standby the passengers in manual off I want to command these I'm gonna command the driver side here first and we want to watch and see what these TED temperature sensors do. If one goes up, the other does not, and it's almost most likely it's the um, the TED, the blower motor TED assembly. And there's command it on. You see the cushion temp is rising. The back back temp is not doing anything. And this will only activate it for less than 15 seconds. There's already clicked it off. There it's going back down. The passenger, we're going to monitor the other two. I know that one works. When I command this on, we want to see both of these rise accordingly. There's passenger and they both are rising so the cushion in the back are working. We've got a uh, backrest head and the driver side that's bad and that's actually why it's setting that code even though if you follow the flow chart on that code um, kind of leads you in a loop so this is just faster to go right in here and just check them really quick
Okay, here's this thermal electric device. It's got a uh, small heater in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a heater, temperature sensor, and a blower motor. And in cooling mode, it just blows air through the little bladders and the seats and the, and the cushion and the backrest. And then for heat, it blows warm air through this little duct. That's how it works. So let's see how we did. This will be our driver side, back and cushion. They're both reading, uh, well, 169, a little over 69, 166. Let's turn it on. And there they're both rising. So this thing is fixed. So I'll use my thermal imager. Just turn it on. You can see the backrest and the seat cushion are working. Looks like the seat cushion isn't getting as warm. This cushion is crushed pretty good. It probably takes longer for the air to get up through those pads. But before it wasn't, neither one was working. It was sitting at 272 B272C. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.